Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a concept 1B. One gentleman hit me in the private and said, skill, did you notice that the concept 1B video was uh, released last uh, in 2021 and I had no clue it is the case. So you know what? Today is going to be the day when we will refresh the knowledge about this tank and from what I remember, I remember this tank being one of the best tier 9 heavy tanks. This tank was obtainable by the ranked battles and obviously since where gaming is being sneaky and they are not talking about it, uh, ranked battles are gone, you know? Um, pretty much ranked battles got replaced by the onslaught and a lot of people are sad about it and the main reason being is um, the onslaught rewards are absolutely nothing. You are not getting anything from them and in the same time, um, it's just just as toxic, if not more toxic than uh, uh, ranked battles, you know? So, a lot of people are upset about this, and a lot of people want to get their hands on this vehicle as well, which I cannot blame, and I, I can understand that, right? The tank overall is strong. Obviously, whenever you have a tier 10 matchmaking, um, it's a bit... Um, more complicated story because you need to spam a bit more gold and whatnot. But once again, this is completely understandable. Meanwhile, we are waiting until the C100 will try to cross if he will. And if he will try to get involved just like so, we will try to be the living crap out of this gentleman. Now speaking about the penetration, 310 penetration with a gold and 258 penetration with a standards. Standard ammunition is fine whenever you are dealing against them against the lower tiers or even tier 9s or lightly armored uh, tanks overall. Whenever you are dealing with a super heavy like the same E100, it is significantly more difficult and it is way, way, way more complicated, but I believe that is understandable. Now, where the armor goes of this tank, I don't think the armor is disgusting of this vehicle, you know? I don't really think the um, tank is unplayable by any shape or any form. But, once again, you need to be smart. You cannot play with this tank like troll a lot through the middle and expect to bounce everything like a um, mouse does. Well, and still, it is very, very debatable can mouse do that, but I believe you get the point what I'm trying to say here. So you need to be smart with this tank. It is definitely not for everyone. Okay. Couple of the free shots, it is always appreciated and always very, very welcome. Hmm. How we can get involved into this game? Oh yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Now pay attention to what is happening here. We have Almighty E50, who is saying, skill, shoot me. And shoot me, I will. Hmm. You know what? I do not really appreciate the situation. Our 50 TP is kind of dead. You know what? I'm relocating a bit. I need to be smart here. I want to play hold down for obvious reasons and this is the position where I'm going to play. We are sitting pretty well. We have a super heavy sitting um, in the back. We have other super heavy or just a heavy trying to escape, which is very, very, very fear. But I think they are going to stick around the corner, right? And I believe we should be all right here. Good, good, fellas. Now, when we are playing in our environment, whenever we are playing hold down, we can spank enemies left, right, and center. I do not need to rush. I do not need to panic. All I need to do, I need to stay put, right? Simple as this. I'm just chilling, I am relaxing, and I am doing me. Mm -hmm. And now, here we go. One shotable, one shotable. Unfortunately, 277 has significantly more hit points, but to be completely honest with you, I do not really care about that. Unfortunately, this is a bounced shot, but that's fine. 
Listen, uh, side scrapping of the 277 is definitely not ideal. We can be the living crap out of him. All I need to do, I need to be smart. That's all I need to do. Yeah, one thing which is very important uh, to say is that um, tanks like tanks like 277, they can spank me with heat like there is no tomorrow. All upper turret is easily penetratable. So keep this in mind. This is very important thing to say. And at this point we are just waiting. There is no need to peek. Okay, I will peek. Just to check it out who is living around the corner. Okay, E100 is dead. This LT432 is annoying SF, but to be completely honest with you, I do not really care about him. At least not yet. E75. Okay. Our 1-2-TM is joining the fight. Excellent. He eliminated that guy who was causing us a bloody crossfire. We are eliminating the 50 TP and we are booming, fellas. We are booming. Our goal is to be as annoying at, as we physically and possibly can. This is our goal. Mm, this E75. I like you. I like you, buddy. We are just starting our journey. I'm feeling pumped up, if you know what I mean. No? That's all you have? That's all you have? Yeah. Not really happy that I did not penetrate his uh, um, upper turret or hatch or however you would call this, but it is how it is. Now, since we are out of the heat ammunition, at this point it is a bit more complicated. And this guy is not bad. He knows what he is doing, fellas. He knows what he is doing. But you know what? I have time. I do not really care about him that much. Aha. Good. 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 Hmm. What to do now? E75 is keeping me locked in place. I do not want to push on the concept, because I simply can't. Ooh, this is a hard one. And this is a hard one, fellas. Very, very, very hard one. I'm pretty much locked in this position. There is nothing what I can do about this. Selling soul for a heat ammunition. Fellas, selling soul for a heat ammunition. Paying well. As you can see, heats are shredding the living crap out of the out of the turret of this tank. So you need to keep uh, you need to be aware of that. If someone is hitting this, they can penetrate you with heats, um, and that is kind of a weak spot of the tank. And uh, yeah, what a stupid pick by me. Not happy. I am not happy about this. I pretty much fed them for free. I thought maybe I could snap the concept, but that was a silly goose move. I just needed to be uh, patient. It's okay. For a very first battle, I would not even call it a burnet pancake. Listen, 3.6 thousand damage, 2.3 thousand assisting damage, I am happy. And considering this is the first day, uh, this is the first battle of the day, we will be fine. So, uh, let's teleport to the scoreboard. Okay, fellas, and we are back with not so great news. It is a draw. Can you imagine? Draw. That is, that is impressive. Um, I messed up in this game. I could have been significantly more patient, but it is how it is. I could have, I should have, blah, 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 blah. My fault. I deserved this. Ooh. <laughs> Quite a bit of the critical hits to E75 with one shot. Anyways, uh, 3.6 thousand damage, 2.3 thousand assisting damage. I'm feeling happy with my performance. Obviously, with some mistakes. I know this E75 was a great player. Kudos to Ebolo Crusher. And uh, we are accepting our 30,000 minus. Okay, fellas. That's the first game. Let's go for seconds. Okay, for a second game, we have Mine Standard Battle. Okay. We are going to go into the middle. I believe this is no-brainer and hopefully we can spank the living crap out of the every single mother trucker who will try to go up. This is what I am hoping for and that's what I am going for as well. 
Now, obviously there is a couple of places how I could play this game. As an example, I could try to take this position over there. But I want to believe... I want to believe this is the right way to do the things. Now, if enemy light tanks will try to go on top of the hill, we can spank them. And as you can see, mediums are going on top of the hill. Okay, that's fair, I guess. That's fair. Mm. <laughs> Panther 2 is regretting his life choices. I can promise you that. Oh, he's regretting his life choices. Listen, at this point, we need to go with the gold ammunition once again, unfortunately. This is, this is not an easy game, but it is how it is. Now, we need to be smart with how we are aiming, right? I really, really, really need to aim properly in order to have um, a great game. As you can see, there is um, Conqueror going on top of the hill. There is Skoda who is trying to have the side angle, which is very understandable. And obviously, he wants to make some sort of crossfire. Let's see, can we punish this gentleman? Beautiful, yes we can, very very nice. Now, we are just booming. We are chilling, fellas. Okay, this guy took quite a bit for the team. Okay, Conqueror is waiting for us. That doesn't really matter, because whenever Conqueror will make a decision to be involved, we are going to spank him. This is exactly what I want to see. Meanwhile, not a perfect cooldown. Too bad, too bad RNG wasn't there. All we need to do, we need to hold this. Fellas, all we need to do, we need to hold this. Hmm. Start is okay. We haven't lost a single bit of the hit points, which is very, very fine. And in the same time, I would say we are sitting good. Like, proper good. Even though the game is looking equal, speaking about the hit points, it's very, very, very hard for enemies to go up, right? And this is exactly what I want to see. I want to cause them to have a, as bad time as possible. Hmm, luckily, he did not penetrate us. This could have been significantly worse. My main mission is to make them... To give them as hard as possible time. This is my main mission. And look at this, how we are using the map in order to in order to get a proper shots. I am trying to boost my tank up the hill or up the slope. Ooh. Oh sir! Oh, you naughty, naughty piglet. I see what you are doing here. Wow. That is bloody impressive. That is very impressive. Progetto, Progetto is being a bit of the naughty boy, fellas. Doesn't really matter. If he is going to hit me by 100, I, I literally do not care. That's the thing. It's nothing. Beautiful, we are farming this Baza 176. I believe quite some of you are thinking, Spank this guy, spank this guy. And I cannot blame you for this. I can see the Conqueror up. I'm very, very, very well aware of that, but at this point I care about the Mr. Skoda. At this point we need to eliminate the Skoda from the game. Too bad, RNG is not here. Now he's getting super involved into all of this. That's okay. We're spanking him in the face. Skoda wants to fight for his life for obvious reasons, but I do not really think he is able to do anything, to be fair with you. I think it is a game over for this gentleman. If only I will be able to find the proper angle. A lot of gold spam considering we are fighting against them. Well... There's a lot of gold spam since we are fighting against the um, higher tier, not the higher tier tanks, but against the heavy tanks, right? 
and there is not much what I can change about this to be completely honest with you. With some tanks you just need to spam those hits and after playing um, after playing those couple of battles I definitely feel like I should carry 20 hits and only 15 APCRs and those APCRs would be for a games um, for a games against the lower tier tanks. As an example against the IMBT I do not need to have gold ammunition. Why would I? Right? It doesn't make any sense, does it? But against the mouse, it's not like I can shoot. Uh, I can shoot the standard ammunition or uh, conqueror. You know, whenever he is playing hold down, it just simply doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Meanwhile, hi. I'm just waiting until my backup will arrive. Actually, not really. Quite a bad shot by me, not much what I can change about this. I'm paying attention to what he is doing. You know what? I'm sitting all right. Ooh, am I? Am I sitting all right? Leo got me from the side. It's okay. It is okay, fellas. I am feeling pretty happy about this, honestly. I haven't lost that much of the use. Yes, maybe I could have fired uh, once into the Leo before he got slaughtered. Maybe. Um, but still, the game is pretty good. 4.3 thousand damage, uh, 700 assisting damage. I am happy with this. Let's see what the score will bring. Okay. Excellent, 4.3 thousand damage, 700 assisting damage, we are top by experience, we are top by the damage, we held the middle as long as we physically and possibly could, and we got 26 thousand profits, which is always uh, very nice and very, very, very welcome. Meanwhile... GG bro, good luck, have fun, GG, always pleasure to meet you in the game fellas, and this is the main reason why I do not have anonymizer on, right, it's it just how it goes, right, I want to make people day whenever they are meeting skill or whenever they are spanking skill um, or, or whenever um, they are raising the gun, it is always pleasure and it is always awesome, anyways, round number 3, let's go. Okay, fellas, last but not least, we have Eerfeld and we have a standard battle. I hate this map. I must admit, fellas, I do not enjoy the Eerfeld, and I think Eerfeld for me personally is worse than a previous, than a previous uh, Eerfeld generation, if I can say so. So sometimes it's better when we're gaming, do not touch the stuff, at least that's what I feel. At least that's what I feel, fellas. Hmm. Okay. First things first. I want to see slower guy trying to go on top of the hill here. What is the chance they are going to have one? Well, <clears throat> it's not guaranteed. But I am hoping for the best. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Well, here you go. Er Hashem is enjoying the brand new Airfield. He had so much fun. He had so much fun. I can see the enthusiasm in his in his eyes. He is like, oh boy, what a great map. Obviously, it wasn't um, a proper play, if I can say so. That was a bit too risky from this guy's side. Meanwhile, we have LTTB making a hardcore pressure here. We are going to spank him once. That's great. And now he's down to fartable. So at this point, this gentleman is completely stuck in this position. I do not really think he can do anything. In fact, if he's going to fart the wrong way, it's game over. He's going straight to the garage. The thing is... Ah, bad reaction. The thing is, we have sniper schnitzels here, right? So they will cover if he is speaking like this. And I will cover this. At this point, all we need to do, we need to calm down and we need to wait until he will peek. And peek he will. 
there is no other way how he could have done anything else and you know you need to be very very patient not to peek in this situation meanwhile I kind of want to get involved I'm a x65 t hey, hey mate how are you doing we found the hero of the day fellas we found a MX-65 T, and you know who is a MX-65 T? Meatball. That's it. A MX-65 T is a meatball. There is nothing. I repeat, nothing. What this gentleman could do about this, and he is going pretty much straight to the garage. I'm feeling sad for this gentleman' experience, but it is how it is. There is nothing what he can change about this. Um, this is a MX-65 T. What can you do? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do we want to make pressure here? Okay, the turtle is going together with us. I like it. Borat. Mm, a bit of the sadness, I would say. To miss the shot like this, this is no bueno. But what can you do? I'm going to go for a blind shot like so. I have all time in the world of tanks. We are okay. By the way, whenever you are stunned, I noticed one thing that... Um, all sound of the game is semi-muted. Well, not muted, but it is significantly smo uh, way more silent. Meanwhile, boom. We beat the living crap out of... Ooh. Oh, hi there. Okay, I know how to approach the remaining of the forces. All we need to do, we need to go and make pressure like this, and we are ready to go. Good game. We did everything properly. We played to the aggression we needed to. Um, I am feeling pretty well with the, all of this, although I know they have snipers in the back. Okay, I noticed you, my man. How? What do you think about high explosives? I have a feeling he's flabbergasted. He's enjoying himself to the maximum. What do you think about high explosives? Ooh, 500 in the face. Well, he loves it. He's enjoying it and he's saying, hmm. Thank you. That's what he's saying. Meanwhile, Udes... He's eliminated, excellent, and at this point I need to figure out how we can eliminate the Estarva and Leo. I would say this session overall is a great success. I think we played well, and I do not really think I can cry about this, fellas. What a beautiful session this is. Estarva just fired. All I need to do, I need to find uh, the proper angle to hit this gentleman. Not the easiest task in the world, but we will try to do our best. Next will be hit. Good. High explosive penetration right into the turret. Uh, or into the commander hatch, I suppose to say. And now we are just simply farming him. Hey, excuse me with the hits. I should be able to penetrate him however I want to. Game. Could you please do not do this to us? Thank you. One more. And he's in the garage. I don't really think he has that great of the angle to eliminate us from the game. And now, Leo 1. Leo 1 probably is sitting here. I would guess he's sitting here. Yes, he is. What a beautiful session this is, fellas. 4.7 thousand damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage. Ooh, we are playing very, very, very good. Although, once again, we are playing with one of the um, most overpowered tanks in a way, right? If you know what you are doing, uh, you are going to score well with this tank. But still, I think we have like 6,000 combined session or 5.5. .5. And with a tier 9, it is very good score. I'm happy. Okay, look at this. 4.7 thousand damage, uh, 1.6 thousand assisting damage, 5 kills, uh, first class, beautiful. I'm very, very happy with this. We are second by the damage, but first by experience, and we made 33,000 profits. Now, 
if we are checking our overall performance with this tank, oh joy, that is a good one. Um, overall, we have done 4.2 thousand damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage. So we finished everything with a 5.8 thousand combined. That is glorious result. And I think we made it work very, very well. You see, uh, Everything is depending on the session. Sometimes sessions are leading you to be extremely successful and sometimes not so much. And I would say this was a great success. And once again, what I really want to show for you, fellas, as you can see, the last games we are on 2021 or uh, 2020. So I believe this is going to be um, an awesome um, addition to Concept 1B repertoire. At least that's what I believe. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.